Hello everyone, this is Matt, and today we're going to go over how to use your controls, so your joystick and your buttons on your Wii U as a controller. So you're going to need a couple things. First off, you're going to need an SD card for your Wii, and it does need to be modded. So pretty much any SD card size over 32 gigabytes will work, because you're going to want it at least backed up if you've already done so. You're also going to want um, your at Games Legends Arcade mapped via the X360 program. So the X360 program, it is X360 CE ALU. It's by Variable Bits. And I'll have a link in the description. What you're going to want to do is follow the directions to a T with the provided PDF and do it exactly how it mentions. Uh, once you have that all mapped, it'll look something like this. Which I just backed out here. And I switched around the buttons a little bit, so yours might look a little different. Because I have a little joystick that I've mounted on my one player and two player, because I, I modified my arcade to have analog joysticks. And I, what I also did is I mapped the mouse to um, to be the C stick. And I haven't I haven't connected it just yet. Right now it's not connected. I don't believe correct. So I'll, I'll be doing that as well. So right now, as you can see, it's not working. And I'll kind of go over that. So once you have that all set up, though, we should be good to go. But first, let's transfer. What you're going to want to do is grab the... Where do I have it here? Right here, the nightly build. What you're going to do is transfer it to your Wii USD card. In this case, it looks kind of funny. I don't know why. It says it's the USA drive. It looks like a CD. Don't know why it looks like that. It doesn't matter. All you got to do is just copy this and paste it to your root. And I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again, but just replace all the files in the destination. And that's it. That'll show up on your Wii U. And then what you're going to want to do is open up the HID to VPAD network client. Once you have Java set up correctly, it should just open like this. And as you can tell from right here, is it has an IP address that you have to want to connect. So what you're going to do is, once you have the homebrew channel all set up, I'm actually going to switch over to the Wii U for a second here. Actually, let's see here. Well, I guess you could probably see it from right here. So what I'm gonna do is actually flip it over to this. You can see I got the homebrew channel right there. I'm just gonna select it. And that's gonna boot up. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to put the SD card back in. Without the SD card, you'll just have that wide screen. Actually, I need to close out and go back in. Slight goof. Okay, I'll just select it again. What I'm going to do, see the bottom one right there? We're just going to select it. You might be able to even see it on that screen. HID to VPAD, nightly. And you won't see it on the main screen, but Right at the top right there, see if it focuses. You'll actually see the IP address. You see that? Let's try that again. There, now it's focusing. So yeah, see it right at the top right there. 
So all we have to do is go back to the computer. And it's already typed in. So I'm just gonna connect, click connect again. And now we can go back to the Wii U. And obviously you're gonna need your Wii U connected to the internet in this case. Didn't think that needed to be mentioned, but now that we have it connected, all you gotta do is go to the control, select, con I, I'm just gonna do the Wii U gamepad. You're gonna wanna choose the Wii U gamepad for games that maybe one player and require the gamepad. But just in case, I'm just gonna do the Wii U Pro Controller. You wanna do the first one to be mapped to one player, click A and then click any button. Back up here for a sec. And then just push whatever button. And if it doesn't work, let's just go back and make sure it's connected here real quick. In this case, I just didn't have the X input selected. There we go. And I also didn't do OTG mode. So once you get into OTG mode, first off, and you can do this before you even beginning, it should all be connected now. And that's it. So it's pretty simple even though I screwed it up. Then you're just gonna connect, click the next controller, pro controller number two. In this case, it is right there. Click the A button. Just gonna zoom in a bit. Click the A button. Click the button on your second controller. That will show up. So once you do have it connected, it will I like the buttons that you're pressing. When you press them. Typically, let's double check. Yeah, I couldn't see it very well in the thing, but when you do press them, it will connect. I'll make sure it's working. Click the plus button on your gamepad and that's going to apply them. And if you did it correctly, I'm gonna to go to the main screen here. It should work. See, there's one player, there's two player. And there's one player. I'm actually using the joystick right now. Down. This is the D-pad. So it works really well. Not all of the games are going to work perfectly on the Wii U side. Super Smash Bros. I can only get worked one player and the same with Donkey Kong Country, but all the other two-player games seem to have worked unless they require a Wii remote. Like Mario Party requires a Wii remote. I haven't tried a ton of games, but all the virtual console games I've tried out, I've tried N64, I've tried Super Nintendo, they all seem to work really, really well. So let's just go to Mario Kart. So basically games that use the Wii U Pro Controller work really well.
As you can tell, they're both working really well. I have analog working on these. And I also have D-pad working. Second player. Drift's working just fine. Item's working just fine. Let's get backed out of this. Show you Virtual Console, Super Smash Bros. The other thing that doesn't work besides the games that I mentioned is the virtual Wii games. And then of course GameCube games. A lot of you might not even know the Wii is capable if it's modded to play GameCube, but it is. Right now it's not. Right now I'm looking into a way to connect via, um, it's called X-Arcade, has these uh, Wii slash Game, GameCube adapters. And what you can do with those is I'll have to splice all of the connections to a separate control board. But once I set it up as an X-Arcade control board, I can connect it via adapters and use it as a Wii remote. Once you have it connected as a Wii remote, pretty much any game on the Wii U is possible, unless it requires um, a pro controller, which I believe games like, uh, whatchamacallit, Breath of the Wild can't use. Um, Seems the control. Seems like I need to back out of here real quick. Try this again. Oh, I know why it's not working because I had it set up as the gamepad. Oh, that's right. Only the joysticks work in this game. I remapped it to where only the joysticks work. Forgot about that. So you can just, just map the joysticks on your, kind of how they explain it in the other game. I still have to change some things. Looks like my cat decided to join in. Two player. One player. So, you can tell how that works. Oh, and this is a widescreen mod for those probably wondering. So, that's pretty much everything. Let's switch over back. Not too difficult. It can just, it's kind of a workaround that isn't necessarily always the most ideal <laughs> just because you have to use a separate controller or sorry a PC to get it working but once you do get it working it works really well and I think at this point this is the cheapest method to do it so if you have an old laptop laying around it's gonna work the other nice thing is maybe you're done playing Wii U games you can open up coin ops and just start playing because coin ops is automatically configured to Xbox controllers so you can go ahead and do that I actually have it opening up right now. Yeah, you can automatically go in and whatever game you want. Yeah, I have. But yeah, that's everything. I haven't tested this enough, but if you have any questions, just let me know, alright?